Hello everybody, I'm so glad you are here. My channel is all about art journal, mixed media painting, collage, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. In case you don't know me, I'm Bea Grob and I love to inspire you. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you are a newcomer, I'm so glad you found my channel. And if you like what you see, why don't you consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon and leaving nice comments share and likes are always appreciated so youtube knows i'm a worthy channel and they recommend me now today it is again for the video hope let us start with art we are a bunch of youtube creators who are gonna inspire you give you tips and tricks every first friday in the month at least during 2021 we'll see how it works if we go on with that so i have challenged myself to do just abstract on heavy watercolor paper and it's going to be monochromatic means just a few colors or just one color but always with black and white to make shades and hues from the same color i did start which seemed very appropriate for me with black gray and white because it is uh, on this side of the earth it is uh, winter which means we have a lot of fog and snow and not a lot of colors in nature so i did this as a first uh, painting for the last month's video and i'm going to put up the link up here somewhere uh, just in gray i actually i have used black and white and made my gray and i did use just graphite and white charcoal pencils just a hint of a little bit of a raw umber which looks a little bit reddish i'm not sure if the video captured it but uh, you can see it in real just yeah it is uh, what the plants look like right now now i didn't stop with that painting uh, i usually work on a little bit off camera so that's what i did here too and i also wanted to show you how i store my paintings uh, because hopefully there's going to be shows again where I can sell those and um, yeah just say uh, pandemic it's not over yet <laughs> anyway so what I do I do use a fixative so that all these graphite and charcoal marks are fixed that they don't smear or, or smush around or things like that that's what I do with any paintings I'm not doing it so much with the art journals. Sometimes I do there, sometimes not. But certainly for work I want to sell, I really take the time to use a fixative. And for the canvases, I even go on with varnish, but not for the watercolor paper so far. Now that's what I do. Then I do put labels where there's my name, Bear Group Mixed Media and More. My website, it is an original mixed media painting. Valleys in the Fog, that's the number three. It's not in the, in the order I have painted it, it's just, <laughs> yeah. And the size I write down, so. And I do a signature, just a tiny one. I don't like those signatures and dates on the, uh, on the painting itself, it just, bothers me now here we have another one which i did afterwards those two they came afterwards and this time i did use a little bit of a blue in the background which actually seeped through the tape that's why you can see and then again i'm not sure how much the camera yeah, maybe here you can see it a little bit just yeah and here again I did use the raw umber which gave a little bit of a reddish tint to the whole thing. So just one painting usually isn't enough for me. If I have an idea I try to repeat, not to repeat, to repeat the idea but doing it slightly different. Just to see what can be done with a title, an idea, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that's it for the last January videos uh, we're gonna go on now with my February video and probably in the March video I'm gonna show you what I have done after this March uh, after this February video I hope you enjoy 
Okay, here I am with my February video for the video hop. The idea this time is boulders, so I went on the internet, especially I went to the Unsplash site and was looking for pictures of boulders and this is a photo by Brian Wangenheim. This I'm going to use as inspiration. So not so much the colors, rather the forms of the boulders and just just as a starting point, it doesn't gonna look like that. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> In terms of materials, I'm gonna use my Derwent Tinted Charcoal Peat and the Sabila All in Black. I have here the raw umber which I wanna use. And maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure yet, the transparent red iron oxide. Then I have my white and my black for hues and tints and shadows and whatnot. I have my brush here which is a synthetic brush it's about half an inch flat brush. I do have here a little bit of denaturate alcohol and rubbing alcohol about 90 percent and I do have my water and my palette. As usual it's going to be a time lapse but as always if you have any questions just leave them down below in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer you the questions if I can. <laughs> just saying. Okay let's dive into and starting with mark making.
Okay, here we are. Now the part I like the most <laughs> sometimes is just taking off the tape. And um, yeah, I do have a little bit of a zip through here, but hey, it is handmade. As usual, there will be at the end of the video a uh, picture and I'm probably also going to add some close-up because uh, it's kind of hard to see the scratches I made and the marks. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you soon again. And don't forget to look down in the description the links to the others from the video hub. Just don't miss them out. <laughs> Take care. Bye.